Rome wasn't built in a day. And to whom much is given, much is required. Last year, we planted the seed. Together, we will watch it grow. I know exactly what y'all are thinking. I know this girl is not in Miami again. And yes, I am in the MIA. This was actually a part of my Valentine's Day gift. So um, listen, I had a beautiful queen ask me, why do I keep going to Miami? Um, baby, when it's paid for, you go wherever you gotta go. I can go to the moon, I can go to church. I can go to somebody mama house, baby. If that's where he want to take me, I'm going, okay? So now here's the room, and I want y'all to see exactly where we stayed at. This was the Grand Beach. Honestly, I'll probably give this hotel maybe like a six. Um, I didn't get a chance to see the other amenities, but I didn't care for the room as much. But it still is a great experience, and if you're trying to not spend so much going out of town, this is the one for you. Yacht vibes, as always. Um, you can't go to Miami and not get a yacht, honestly. It's just like, what are you doing? We had so much fun, though. Um, I didn't record a lot because, honestly, this trip was just about enjoying my man and my friends and just vibing. I wasn't too vloggy, like, honestly, it was kind of crazy. So we're out and about, and we end up going to this restaurant called Playa. Now, when I tell y'all the food was amazing, 10 out of 10, and the drinks were going nuts. I absolutely love and recommend this place. I mean, it was just doing what it needs to do, honey. They had the oysters. They had the steak and lobster. I mean, you just literally cannot go wrong with going to Playa. So if you're ever in Miami, make sure you make reservations and go. So right here, I am showing you guys the latest everything shop apparel. This whole outfit will be on the website on 217, so make sure you guys shop with me. But um, I absolutely love these pants. They are oversized. I'm wearing a size small. And then the top as well, I am also wearing a size small. The next restaurant we decided to visit was Swan. This restaurant is by Pharrell, and I didn't even show y'all the food, but the food was a 10 out of 10, and I absolutely loved my drink. What's poppin' A1s? So look, y'all, um, the last time y'all saw me, I was in Miami, and it was very quick. I decided not to film because I just went to Miami, and I was like, they probably tired of seeing Miami content. And um, we were down there celebrating because my best friend, um, one of her friends, it was their birthday. So yeah, that's how I went again, but that's neither here nor there. I was gonna show y'all these in the morning with the natural lighting and everything going on, but I'm so damn thirsty. So I wanted to show y'all my roses that I got for Valentine's Day. And these roses were made by Iman Gabrielle so y'all know I told y'all my friend Iman has Gabrielle's garden and she does flower arrangements now and so this is a flower arrangement of a hundred roses so I am definitely gonna take pictures with these tomorrow I'm so excited I just I mean it's just beautiful so um I'm just literally so thirsty I was like um yeah I'm gonna talk to them tonight because I literally just got back today from Miami and I couldn't wait to um, go to her house and grab these so I can show y'all. But there's more. <laughs> Woo. Okay, y'all. Do y'all see this big ass box? Um, where is it? Let me see if y'all can see. Let me show y'all. Woo. Yes. When I tell y'all, I have literally been waiting, waiting. When I say waiting, for these, like I've always wanted some Venus flowers and I finally got them. I'm so, so, so happy y'all. Thank you to my man for getting these for me because baby, I am so excited. So I'm about to do like a quick unboxing and show y'all these flowers. Um, or y'all might, honestly, do I need to just wait in the morning and show y'all with the natural lighting because it's, I hate this yellow light. I'm just so damn thirsty. I just want to see them so bad. But anyway, um, I'll probably just come back in the morning, y'all. I'm I guess I'm gonna leave y'all waiting. It's gonna be quick for y'all though because it'll just be the next clip, but I'm so thirsty to open these. I don't know what to do with myself, but anyway, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the morning. 
Okay, y'all, forgive me. I know I said I would come back in the morning, but I'm so thirsty, y'all. Oh, my goodness. They are beautiful. Oh, my God. And they smell delicious, y'all. Oh, my God. My roses. They're so beautiful. This is remote clips. I got to figure out how to pick this up, y'all, but I am upset. Oh my God, I got both of my flowers. I got my hot pink flowers, and then I got my red flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, and I'm just gonna leave the clip off with y'all seeing it. But y'all, I'm obsessed. I absolutely love this. Thank you so, so, so much, boo, because yes, honey, it's, give, it's giving Valentine's Day, and um, yeah, I'm excited. So I'll see you guys in the morning. A ones and welcome back so look y'all I know I told y'all I would never ever show y'all my room but today is a special occasion honey because as y'all know yes we got the Valentine's Day flowers going crazy so I literally just staged up this whole part and this is what my Valentine's Day picture is going to look like I'm so excited Y'all, I have over 200 roses. I think in this box, it comes anywhere from 80 to 90 something roses. And then um, this is a whole bouquet of 100 roses. Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to talk loud so y'all can hear me, but nonetheless, so this is what's going on, y'all. I already took it out of the box. I absolutely love my Venus flowers. And I love my bouquet from Gabrielle's Garden. So if you are in the Atlanta area and I mean, this is the look. Let me just show y'all how I took my picture. Boom. This is the picture right here, y'all. Okay? But I am obsessed with flowers. I know every girl doesn't love flowers. It's like, not like a thing because I know my friend Tia, she's not a flower girl. Like, she don't be losing herself about this. She want to give. She want whatever, whatever. But me personally, like flowers, like all my life, I've gotten flowers from my father, from men I've dated. Like, I just, I don't know. It just, to me, it's the most cheapest. Well, not these. These ones cheap. But flowers in general are cheap. You can go to Kroger. You can go to any pharmacy and pick up a bouquet of flowers. It's like $20. If a man can't just bring you flowers, to me, I, I'm scared. I just feel like it's so cheap and it's like literally so, it's so minimal. It's such a minimal thing that has such a maximum effect. So if you're listening to this and this video is coming out on Valentine's Day. So first and foremost, I want to say happy Valentine's Day to all my beautiful queens and kings out there that also celebrate. You deserve it all. Don't ever get in the cadence where, you know, you're dating somebody and they're telling you Valentine's Day doesn't matter. It's the same day of the week. I spoil you year round. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. And this is such a huge topic, but I'm gonna just give y'all my spiel. When I have dated men who have said that I had kid y'all not, I always be thinking to myself, like, that's a cop out. They'll say that because at the time, honestly, they just probably not feeling you like that at the moment. I'm gonna be honest, like, y'all, your relationship has not progressed at that time for them to see the importance of showing you love on Valentine's Day. It ain't even about by hella bang. Like, it's really not. It's more so about just showing the person you love them and like being there. And I just feel like every time it's the relationship always started out that way of them saying, oh, I don't celebrate and this and that. And then as the relationship progressed, now it's no problem. And I and that goes to show me that it's just, it's about how they feel about you more than, um, you know, the actual day, if that makes sense. So if you're going through that today and you have a king that's saying, Oh, we celebrate Valentine's Day every day, this and that. I'm just tell y'all now because I want to make sure I keep it very transparent. He's not into you, sis. You either need to run or you need to just try to reevaluate that situation because to me, unless you have some trauma that is centered around Valentine's Day, like the other day, Johnny, y'all know my friend Johnny, the one y'all was sliding in his DMs behind. He told me that his grandmother died on Valentine's Day, so the day is kind of like bittersweet for him so he doesn't just go nuts and be doing too much 
And I told him, I understand that. Now, if you have trauma centered around the day, that's completely different. But I feel like just to blatantly not do nothing for your girl for Valentine's Day, like I said, a card, a, a damn $20 flowers, take a little dinner, a little movie, a little feet rub, foot rub, whatever you want to call it. To me, it's just... It's, it's just very sad, and I hope that none of you ladies are suffering in silence. Y'all need to get the hell on, find y'all somebody that is going to, you know, um, value you in that regard and someone who is going to hold you on that pedestal because believe me when I tell you, what, what one man won't do, a, I'm a billion, and I'm, and I'm putting a, a billion behind it. We'll do that. I'm telling you, like, what's one man's trash is another man's treasure, and what somebody does not value today, somebody will put you on that pedestal and hold you there. So y'all know I gotta get into my preachy moves, but I just been seeing so much of women down, downplaying and minimizing this holiday because of the person they're dealing with. And I want us to stop doing that because when it's Father's Day or when it's um, a day where you celebrate a man, a Christmas, um, any holiday where we get to celebrate them back, and even Valentine's Day, you should, since you should be celebrating your man too. Don't make it about you. Your man need to have the same amount of gifts that you requested him to have. Like, it's definitely a two-headed coin. Now, obviously, Valentine's Day has always been more of a woman's holiday. And I know on the West Coast, y'all celebrate Sweetie's Day. We from Atlanta and the East. We on the East Coast. We don't celebrate Sweetie's Day. But my man definitely going to be showered. He going to be happy as hell um, when he see what, he, what I got him. And I just think that a relationship is two-sided. You have to pull your weight. You have to show up and you have to um, don't request things that you can't do in return. Yes, that's how I feel. Anyway, but I don't want to be too preachy. I just had to come back and, you know, just kind of tell y'all that because at the end of the day, like, I see so many times of women just being like, oh, well, he do stuff all the time. He don't have to do nothing for me today. I be scared of y'all when y'all be saying that because I used to be that girl. I used to think that was okay. That's not okay. Like, I'm telling you. It's not okay. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day. I'm going to come back a little bit later on because I want to show y'all the outfit that I I may wear it this weekend. Or if I do something tonight or tomorrow, I'll wear the outfit. But I did get an outfit from AGM. Um, yeah. Oh, I said it right. Perfect. Because I have I be messing up my friend name sometimes. Sis, if you watching this, my bad. But it is AGM. And when I tell y'all... She be going nuts when it comes to the designing, the clothes, and everything. Like, my outfit is so freaking cute. I cannot wait to wear it. So, I'm going to show y'all how I put that together. But I wanted to come in and take beautiful pictures with my rose assortment and my eternity flowers. Like, I absolutely love this. And I'll see you girls and you guys a little bit later on today. 12 seconds later. Okay, queens, I'm back and I am in our spot. Y'all know I like the lighting to come through, honey. So, um, we're back. So, I just got some constructive criticism and I want to share that with you guys here on the platform because y'all know how I am. When I get real passionate, I just be going ham and I just, sometimes I don't think about, you know, um, other people's perspective, which again, this is my channel. So, this is my perspective that y'all are hearing, but... Um, I do want to add something else to the forefront because it made me think. So let me be transparent um, with you guys. So the real the real reason why I went so hard just now is because um, when I first met the guy that I'm dating now, like just this last Valentine's Day, he didn't understand the importance of, hey, I just want some flowers. Like obviously he does so much for me throughout the year and he always got my back. But um, why are you telling me to cut? about the importance of how somebody feel about something. It's not about the flowers. That's what I'm saying. So I'm, that's what I'm explaining. I, I was getting there. I, you ain't let me finish. No, but you went into flowers. Like, because that was the point. Like, that was the point. Right? Yeah, yeah. It is the point. But just make sure you be like, I say that to say it's not about the flowers. It's about paying attention to what's important to someone that you, you know what I'm saying? Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, like when your daddy be saying something, you stir off to like, where you going with this to the point where you be like, my point is saying this, it's not about the flowers. It's not about a person 
wanting to get you flat. It's about a person paying. It's about somebody paying attention to what's important to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Then it can be a whole communication thing. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit that can get that people can get out of what you're saying. Okay. Like, based off the flowers, you know what I'm saying? But basically saying, like, communication, speaking on how you feel, hell, it can be flowers on any given day now. If a person knows that you like flowers, or a person knows that you like chocolate or strawberry, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> essentially what I'm saying is, um, Learn your person and learn who you who you are with. Like, um, just because you're used to a certain way of doing doing a certain thing a certain way doesn't mean that the person you with now is just gonna be like, oh, I'm like that too. When you get in a relationship with somebody new, it, you're you're ever changing, ever evolving, and it's always going to be completely different from what you're used to. So if something wasn't a standard for somebody in their last relationship, you can't expect them to just wake up and be like, oh, now that I'm with this girl, I know I gotta do all this. Now, some people do know, or some people do do that. Some people are people who just kind of like change with the times and know how to like um, just switch up depending on who they're with. But there are a lot of people who don't. And when you're in a relationship, you have to talk to your partner and say, hey, this is what I like, this is what I expect. And Back to my earlier point, if they don't understand, if they don't get it, run. But at the same time, sometimes it just takes time for somebody to understand why that's important to you. Um, because I feel like, again, in my situation, again, he do stuff all the time. So for him, it's like flowers or buying flowers on this day. He didn't understand why that was important to me. So I had to explain to him, hey, every Valentine's Day when I had somebody and when I didn't have somebody my daddy always bought me flowers like I literally just posted um this is in 2014 and my daddy randomly came home and brought these balloons and this bag for me I can't remember what was in the bag but my my daddy used to go nuts and do stuff for me on Valentine's Day so for me it was just always just made me feel like wow like you know if I don't have anybody in my life at a time my daddy is gonna pull up and show out for me so for me and you might be somebody watching this video right now. You may be like, girl, I don't care about no Valentine's Day. Shit, do stuff for me year round. Or I don't care about that. You may be that kind of girl, sis. But those of us girls who are not those type of girls, those of us girls who want to be recognized on the day, whether, again, whether it's grand or whether it's very minimal, I think it's important to communicate that to your partner and say, look, this is what I like. This is what I'm into. But, you know, we can work on getting you there because some people, it takes them time to see why that is of value to you. So I just wanted to come back and say that because, again, I, I, I talk a lot on this channel, but I also talk because I'm coming from me and my perspective of how I look out on things and how I just I, I, I remember dating people and. I didn't get nothing for Valentine's Day or they didn't do what they needed to do and I stopped talking to them behind it. Like, I don't know, but again, that's coming from somebody who grew up with their father their whole life and buying a car and buying flowers to me was just so minimal. I was, I was lost. So I'm just saying all that to say, um, if you love your partner and that's somebody you really want to be with, work with them and don't just throw them to the side because they don't understand. Sometimes you have to talk to people and like help them see it from your perspective and then from there y'all can grow. So, and everybody's love language is different. Um, mine is definitely acts of service. Um, I just like to see it happening. I, I don't like to talk. Um, words of affirmation. I mean, I'm, I'm just very much action driven. And I think that's the type of way I show my love too. Um, very action like what can i do to show you i love you so um anyway i love you guys hope you guys enjoyed this small little girl talk because this is not really like a whole thing but anyway back to what i was saying earlier i am gonna come back later on um with my outfit on i don't know if i'm go see this is the thing this video is gonna come back come out tomorrow so if we don't do anything tonight then I'm just going to put the outfit on and y'all, I'm going to just show y'all what it looks like. But um, anyway, so I'll come back and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, y'all. So what's up? So 
um, I want to show, share with you guys what I am doing for Valentine's Day for him, y'all. So I first heard about this from Iman. Iman ended up doing this for her man for Christmas. So I first heard it from her, but then um, over the week, I was talking to someone else and they were like, cause I was like, oh, I know what I want to get him, but I kind of just want to go all out. And she was like, oh, well, you should do the five senses um, Valentine's Day thing that everybody has been doing. I think that that would be nice. And I said, you right, sis, you motherfucking right. So y'all look, so um, this is how I have it set up. Um, everything that I got for him isn't here yet. I'm pissed, pissed. So, um, I basically printed out all of the senses. So, this is touch, sight, um, sound. I'm trying to hold them all up together so y'all can see. Taste and smell. So, I am excited. So, so far, I only have one of the gifts. Um, this is the first gift I bought him. Let me just show y'all. Pull it out so y'all can see. But I got him some of these. So first of all, everybody has the AirPods, but I found out that these are some really good ones. Um, they were about 150, but I also think they have like a cheaper version of these that are like $100. I got them from Target. So this one is gonna be sound. So I am excited for touch. I bought him a wallet. For sight, I got him some shades. For taste, I'm gonna cook either his favorite meal or I'm gonna take him to a very nice restaurant tomorrow and just take care of the bill. And then for smell, I got him, um, it was like a bestseller on um, Neiman Marcus. But like the stuff I bought him is like basic everyday shit. But what's gonna make it go crazy is, you know, the thought behind this. And you see how I got one bag? So I bought, hold on y'all, let me show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all like the finished look, but it's like I bought all different kinds of bags for everything so that when everything gets here, it's just all gonna go in the bags just so it'll be all cute and stuff. And then I'm gonna have him, I think it's like a sequence. You're supposed to start with sight, and then I think you're supposed to go to smell, and then you go to, um, I know taste is last. Taste is last because that's like or something so anyway i'm gonna like follow the steps and i'm excited y'all this is gonna be so good so anyway um i didn't think we were doing anything tonight because we didn't plan anything i thought we were probably gonna like do like a dinner tomorrow we just actually came back from eating so anyway if i do something fun i'm gonna show y'all if not then i'll see y'all tomorrow but i just wanted to share that with y'all really quickly yeah Girl, I know you wanna. She's a spice, right? Pipe like bike, like Yoko Homo. She heard the thing been like banana. So she wanna give me the Arunana need. Oh, yeah. She say I'm a sweeter man. But she say that she don't need a man. I say, why don't we make an agreement then? We can just while we're Morning, it was in happy, happy Valentine's Day. Um, this is now officially Valentine's Day. It is Tuesday morning, guys. And I want to start off by saying I love you. If you don't hear today that you are beautiful, I'm telling you right now, sis, you are beautiful. You are deserving. You are worth it. Um, I mean, you just deserve it all. Um, there should be no limits when it comes to you. So if you don't hear that today, just know it's coming from me and it's coming from the heart because you know I love my queens and I'm always going to advocate for us um, to the end of time, okay? But anyway, good morning. I wanted to start the morning off by showing y'all this new recipe that I found. So make a long story short, those of you may or may not know, um, I am Ming Lee. She is a, um, like, I don't even know what she is now, but she started off selling hair back in the day. Like, she's an OG weave hair seller and from there she has just done so much with her career based off of you know being one of the first women to black women actually to start selling hair here in the atlanta area but nonetheless 
she came up with this bomb recipe, guys, and I was like, I'm gonna make that today or whatever for Valentine's Day. So um, what you need is you need some grand flaky layers, and then you're gonna need bacon, or you can do sausage, like whatever your vibe is, or you don't have to do meat at all. But I'll, I'm a bacon girl, so I'm gonna do bacon. You need some large eggs, and um, I think that's it. You need like butter, a little bit of honey because you're gonna like coat your biscuits and yeah you oh damn how i forgot about the cheese i'm i'm looking up in the air because i'm like something ain't right hold on y'all yes and you need um cheese now whatever cheese is your preference that's on you but you're gonna need american cheese and then you're also going to need gouda cheese okay for this recipe and that is it so um, make sure y'all go and get this stuff and I'm going to show y'all what breakfast comes out as and we are gonna go from there. So I cook my bacon in the oven. I, I don't know why it's just be tasting so much better to me. Like I like to cook my bacon very slow. It just, it be going nuts, see? So if you be on the stove, I used to cook my bacon on the stove. I don't know, those of y'all who know what I'm talking about, y'all comment. I don't know, I just like cooking my bacon slow. So I cook it in the oven. And I set it like on 350 and just let it do its thing. Okay, y'all, so the bacon is almost done. It's literally like just almost perfect. Like, tell me how y'all like y'all bacon because I like my bacon to be like in between crispy and like soft. Like, I like it to be closer to the crispy side, but it has to have that flavor. Like, I'm gonna show y'all what how I like my bacon. It's literally almost done. So, next you're gonna do so I think eight biscuits come in the thing. So I guess if you're doing eight biscuits, you need eight pieces of bacon. I did six pieces of bacon, but I think I'm only gonna make like four because I just can't imagine why we would need more than four. I'm trying to think. I may make five just in case it's busting and he'd be like, ooh, damn, I want another one because I'm definitely eating my two. So I think with that said, I'm probably gonna go ahead and make three, probably three eggs. I'm making five. Now I probably need to make eight, make do four eggs. Mm, whatever I don't use, I throw away. But I'm probably just gonna do because I eat three eggs by myself. So I'm gonna make four to be on the safe side. Yeah. Um. Do your four eggs. Um. I throw my shells away. I know some people. I'm just sitting them right here because I'm talking to y'all. But I know some people like to keep their eggs in um the little container. I don't know. I'd be. Feel like it's gonna, I don't know, I don't know why, but I'm gonna throw mine away. Um, it's like a saying, if the girl starts off cooking the eggs before everything else, dump her, she don't know how to cook. But no, for real, y'all, eggs always should go last. Do not cook eggs first, they should always go last. All right, pull them out in a minute. So next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take my fork now. I do use like plastic utensils when I do my eggs, so y'all don't have to worry because I know the um, YouTube police gonna be like, girl, why is you scraping up that pan like that? No, ma'am, my daddy taught me years ago, that's not what you do. Um, I do just regular salt and pepper. I know back, I know like people you usually put like milk and stuff inside of their eggs. I don't do any of that, I just, all I, my favorite egg is an egg that's not runny, honey, and got cheese in it. As long as it ain't runny and it got cheese, that's all I care about. So that's kind of like what I focus on when I make my eggs. Just enough salt, a little bit of pepper, and that cheese, and make sure it's not runny. And I always use the shredded cheese because it's just, it's just better. Like when you try to use like these, it just be too much going on. That shredded just be doing what it's supposed to. That way you can kind of gauge how much you got in there. You ain't got to feel like you overdid it. It's perfect. This is how I like my bacon. Like you see how it's crispy, but it ain't like too crispy to where you like, oh. So like the key too is like you let it sit for a minute before you start effing with it. That's what make it get even crispier. But it's like, I just like my bacon to be like this. Some people like they bacon a little bit crispy. I think, actually I think my man like his bacon a little bit more crispy. So I'm gonna give him the pieces to me that seem a bit more crispier, I guess. But 
I don't like my bacon crispy. I like it to be just like. Well, kind of more, actually probably more soft and crispy now that I look at it. But that's my favorite though. The two pans that I'm going to use is going to be this one. And then I am also going to use this one because um, I think maybe just four will fit in here. And then I'm going to have to do like the one. If I still do it like that, you don't see honey. But um, so right now my butter is going. I'm about to put my eggs in there and get them going. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is pull out my biscuits. So I'm gonna pull these out and then I'm gonna make like a honey and butter wash. I'm gonna show y'all, all I'm gonna do is put the butter, melt the butter and, and the honey at the same time and then um, that is what I'm going to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust this baby open so that I can pull out my biscuits. I have not bust like did this in years. Like I don't even be fooling with this. You open this thing, child. I done, I already messed it up. How the hell you press press spoon? Oh! Oh! <laughs> See, this is why. I, oh God. Okay. Nonetheless, we got our biscuits, y'all. Jesus, I'm like, what is happening? I feel like I just see somebody on TikTok had the same craziness happen to them and they was hollering just like I was. I actually made it do two. Cause these biscuits kind of thick, child. So let me see. I may do two of um uh what you would call it. If worst case scenario, if you be like, damn that was good, I want some more, then I still got damn, how many come in here? Eight. So something ain't right. So this is one, two, oh, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. So how, how do you even, I'm over here like, how do you even close this thing back up? But we just gonna put this back in the refrigerator for the time being and let's get started. So I need my utensil. Don't be confused while I'm using this. I don't know where my smaller ones are at. My butter is melted. Come for our eggs. So while I let that get a little bit of Something, something. Yes, my hands are already washed. I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling, pulling it apart so that I can do what I need to do. So just pull it apart so you got room to stuff. Cause we're gonna stuff this. Pull these apart. Okay, they are flat and ready to go. I'm about to finish up these eggs. They're almost done. Sometimes I let them sit just for a little minute, minute so they can get together faster to me and be faster. Instead of just like scrambling them the whole time, I just kind of let them sit and then I start flipping them over. So this is what my eggs look like, guys. Um, this is how I like them. Fry hard, um, no wetness. I hate, I hate runny eggs, so I just be making sure, honey, but I don't want them to be burnt, but I don't want them to be runny either. So we're gonna turn off the stove. I'm going to take some butter. Probably gonna do like at least half of this because I'm gonna use it at the end too. So I'm gonna take some butter and some honey. And then I'm just gonna spread it on there just a little bit. And now we have our, oh, we need to sit in there just a little bit longer. Hold on. Okay. So while that is still going, we are going to open up our cheese. If I can figure this out. All right. <clears throat> so we are going to take our cheeses. This is the Gouda cheese. And then we got American. We're gonna just break it as such, like this, and place it. One whole half per biscuit. Now we're gonna take our Gouda cheese and place that on there as well. Your eggs, let me show y'all how it looks so far so y'all can follow me. Shit. Sorry y'all, I forgot I was charging y'all. Okay, 
So this is what that looks like. Can y'all see? It's literally just Gouda cheese, American cheese, Gouda cheese, American cheese. It looks the exact same on the other one. So you're gonna take your freshly made eggs and you're gonna put eggs on each piece. That's what this looks like. Now you could put, I'm trying to tilt it without y'all, without it falling out. You can put however many eggs you wanna put on there, but that's just what I'm doing. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back in and I am going to add my bacon. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna like break it up so that it ain't, it's not like overwhelming. Like, ooh, look at this big ass piece. You know like when you eating a burger and you got into it and then you like, how they put this big old piece of lettuce or this big old piece of onion? Like, they just be overdoing it instead of making stuff like petite. They be just doing the most, so just make, you know, do what you do. But I'm putting like one whole piece of bacon on there, just so y'all can understand how I'm doing it. If you like more bacon, more, if you want less, you can do less. But me, I'm making sure it's bacon season over here, okay? This is the almost grand finale is I'm going to add more cheese. Remember, so all together, I'm only, I've only used four slices. So two for two Goudas and um, two American. So remember, remember that, because I don't want you guys to overdo it and be like, what the hell? Now, this is the final product. This is what you should have. Um, uh, you should have American and Gouda. Then you should have your eggs. Then you should have your bacon, sausage, whatever you want to use. And then you're going to do American and Gouda again at the top. This is what you see here. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to pick it up. And as you can see, I am wrapping that thing around. Just like this. So you wanna grab and pull without compromising the integrity of, I'm out of double stuff, mine, child. I gotta, mind y'all, this is my first time doing this, so bear with me, but this is the concept. May not wanna over, over stuff. I might got a little bit too many eggs or something in there, but you just wanna pull it and tighten it. It's dough, so you pull, tighten, pull, tighten and basically make you a little ball like this. Make us a ball. Make sure there ain't no open um, areas and boom, this is it guys. So I'm gonna do this for the rest of them and I'm gonna show y'all what I do after that. So now we have our balls. Now I'm gonna take that delicious honey and butter concoction I made and I'm just gonna Dab it like this, y'all. I'm just literally dabbing it at the top to give it that taste. Ooh. Now we are going to put our delicious, um, like stuffed biscuits, basically is what this is, in the oven. And I told you guys I had it on 375. So I'm gonna put both of them on the top so that they can try to cook evenly if possible. And we're gonna leave that in for 14 minutes. So I'll be back once it's done. So now I'm taking out the last bit of biscuits. I just wanted to make sure, um, because for some reason, I feel like this, the glass is always um, put differently than these. But anyway, nonetheless, guys, this is the final look. So I've already warmed up my wash. So I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab. Get it on there so it can have that delicious honey glaze going. And yeah, that looks amazing. Do y'all see that? Look at them. Just wait till I pull them apart though. Final product.
Mm. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>